So yeah. this is the first time I'm seeing a lot of these pieces too. If you see me reacting, like overreacting, <laughs> it's because I didn't even get to see it's everything real. that Laura got. It's real. <laughs> it's not like, acting. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so darling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Navy blue. Vintage yes. Dior. Oh my gosh. Vintage gone. Dior. Ooh. Sea straw. Oh, oh, that's so cute. I have chills right now. <laughs> love that. Versace. Glamorous. <laughs> it's perfection. I'm in love with this. Uh, what? <gasps> Neutral. It, it's a set. I want it all. Hi, welcome back. Happy Sunday. Today we are going to an amazing estate sale. And as you can see, we are going with my dear friend, Laura from Yellow Brick Roads Thrifts. You're gonna to wanna to follow her on Instagram and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but hello, Laura. So excited. Hi, everyone. Thanks so, for joining us. So excited. <laughs> this estate sale was absolutely amazing. Unreal. <laughs> Luxury, designer, dead stock. Without further delay, let's get into the estate sale. I'm gonna take you around and then we will come right back here to do both of our hauls of what we got. Can't wait for everyone to see. Over 40 pieces, so enjoy that and then we'll see you back here for the haul. Okay, so as we head into this estate sale, just a reminder to keep the comments very respectful. This is a collection that did belong to an individual and we wanna keep that in mind. In any comments, just keep it positive and respectful, please. As you could see there, the pricing was amazing right off the bat. Really reasonable for the quality of the pieces that we're gonna see. Heading into this first closet, I'm not seeing like a ton of vintage bangers, but there's definitely a lot of quality pieces. And I think that's a good suggestion when you're hitting up an estate sale is to look at the tags closely. See if you're noticing like higher end brands, higher end materials, everything here is like 100% cotton, 100% silk. So it's like a lot of really good quality basics. And then boom, there'll be a brand new with tags, beaded Talbot sweater that's just absolutely gorgeous. Would be so fun for the holidays. And you can see original price point was very expensive. So it would have been a steal at this estate sale. So I'm scanning through this closet because again, it's pretty much filled with a lot of good quality basics. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm looking for, just anything like a little bit more standout that catches my eye or something that's a good quality basic in a color that I really like. Here's a beautiful emerald green silk blouse, but it's definitely giving holiday, so I left it for now. And then I just started kind of scanning through a little more quickly because I was getting anxious to see a bit more variety and found some more detailed vintage blouses like this. You'll see in the haul that my friend Laura scored a ton of amazing vintage blouses with a lot of great details and patterns. So I'm kind of just looking at this whole color palette, realizing that I could take my pick of items that would really round out my closet. And then there were a few really beautiful dresses. Look at this beautiful lace detailed dress. I mean, that is just a gorgeous piece. A lot of the pieces were about like a size eight, but there was some variety. So I was able to like find things that would fit me as well. And then we're heading into the second closet, which is incredible. I just want this whole closet. <laughs> it's so good. There was a number of pieces that were kind of like basic cotton suits like this. And then you would flip right next to it and there'd be like a beautiful designer suit set. So a really nice variety. Um, but the, again, looking at the tags, it was all about the quality of the individual items. I loved this suit set. It wasn't my size, but the print is so fun. It comes with a plain green silk skirt, just a cute piece. And then there was also a lot of great lingerie. You're gonna see in the haul coming up that my friend Laura scored a lot of amazing lingerie. I just kind of looked at a couple pieces that were there. And then the shoe collection, this is all one size, which unfortunately didn't work for me. Kind of a double-edged sword when you're at an estate sale because it makes it easy to rule out shoes if they're not your size. You don't really feel the need to look at them all, but I wanted to show you some of the fun ones that I saw. Thank you. 
Then I spotted this beautiful mustard colored silk jacket and I really like the silhouette on it. So I decided to grab this one to try on. They had a little mirror out in the main room and boom, look at that. I actually love this whole fit. I think it looks really cute together. So holding on to that blazer. This whole table was all cashmere sweaters in different colors, obviously. And then there was a whole cabinet full of 100% cotton turtleneck sweaters. So I was kind of looking for something in a color that I could use because I've been layering up turtlenecks like crazy. And I went for this brown one that's 100% cotton. Then there was a table with these baskets full of beautiful scarves. They were a mix of some that were 100% silk and others that were poly blends, but lots of fun patterns here. I thought they would be just interesting to look through. I didn't end up bringing any home, but I wanted to show you some of the variety. And then when we get to the haul, you will see a few pieces that Laura ended up getting. Lots of really interesting and like a wide variety of styles in here. Next, we're gonna head into another room that was full of handbags. And when I tell you again, the quality of the bags, holy cow, these were amazing. Now this was one section of the estate sale that had been priced, I wanna say more appropriately. The bags were individually priced for the most part. And for the most part, they were like $50 and up. So a really good deal for the quality, but you weren't getting like an absolute steal. You would definitely wanna select ones that were gonna be forever pieces in your closet, sort of at that price point. Um, this one is a Polini. You can tell right away looking in there, there is a, uh, a dust bag for that purse. Um, that one priced at $200. That is a Talbot's uh, faux croc bag, super cute. This one is also a Talbot's. And this bag I loved, it was a Cole Haan. This bag, Laura really heavily considered buying it because it's such a good size and classic bag, but the strap was not very comfortable to wear. It kept falling off because it was so thin for the size of the bag. So she ended up leaving it. And here is a Sharif purse. This one is so cool. I love how it has the hinged opening. And that one was priced at $95. So again, pretty fair pricing for the quality of the piece. Now we're heading into the bathroom, which was full of amazing beauty products, including perfume, but I got caught up right away looking at the clothing that was also hanging in there. Here's a cool vintage Susan Bristol sweater with a lot of amazing detail. And then this is a St. John piece they were selling for $100. It was in perfect condition, all knit. This was a 100% leather set with a trench coat and a cool mini skirt, super nice. And then they had a few other dresses out here and there. This is 100% silk, Maggie London. I love the colors in that. And a little Jane Singer, also really pretty spring or summer colors, but not my size. So now heading into another closet and oh my gosh, this might be one of the best closets yet. This one had all of the formal cocktail dresses. Look at this beauty. This is so incredible to me. I had to take a second look. I think that is just the most gorgeous fun piece with those shoulders. And this one is a snowmobile suit, also mixed in with all these beautiful gowns, but it's really cute. And here's one of several beautiful vintage Jessica McClintock gowns. And there's another one right next to it. This one still has the original tags, which was super fun to see. 
a couple of really beautiful skirts. I loved this leather one in that like reddish brown. If that had fit me, I would have had to snag it. There also were a lot of great accessories. So I'm kind of digging through this collection of belts and noticing there's some really cool ones. They're all in amazing condition as well for being a vintage age and belts like this style don't tend to hold up very well. So everything in this collection had been really well cared for, you could tell. Unfortunately, the belts were not my size, so I wasn't able to bring any home, but I loved that lion one. It was so fun. Found a couple of really cute hats as well. I thought about getting this velvet uh, floppy hat, but when I tried it on, I felt like it didn't look quite right on my head. So kind of cute, but not fully executed well. Then up near the checkout, they had a massive selection of beautiful jewelry. And I'm just gonna take you through and show you everything up close as well as the price point range. The earrings were about $20 a pair and there was just so many I, I couldn't even decide. So I didn't end up getting any accessories, but let's just take a close look and appreciate all of these gems. So here is my bag at this point. It is looking nice and full. I'm gonna do a little bit of sorting here and show you the pieces that I ended up leaving behind reluctantly. There were just some things that did not fit quite right or were out of my budget. Here is a beautiful St. John sweater. Uh, but when I looked close, I realized it was priced at like 125 and I decided to leave it. This sweater I also loved, but it was a little bit too small and I didn't want to chance it with that price point, but super cool detail. And then I was trying to decide between all the many beautiful silk blouses and I just didn't want to take too many home, but I wanted to pick up a couple of colors that would really work for me. So that green one just kind of didn't make the cut. And then this beautiful silk camisole, still with the original tags, obviously very expensive in luxe, but it was the wrong size, so I had to leave it. I did consider a couple of amazing vintage designer suede clutches, and I will have to show you in the haul which one I got because oh, they're both so gorgeous. Love these colors and the quality. I also found a knit St. John skirt that I considered, but the price point ended up being out of budget for me. And then this beautiful robe. I absolutely loved the colors. The lace is actually like a pale green, but on closer inspection, there were some stains and I decided to leave it. And last, this beautiful vintage blouse. So many great details, but it was very sheer, so I ended up leaving it. And I am gonna show you everything I did get coming up soon here in the haul. So we're back and obviously, again, amazing estate sale. Like, amazing. Mind blowing, unbelievable. Everywhere One you turn. One thing after another, you're like, how do I edit this? How do I not get all of the things? So I'm glad that we're going to uh, go through our items and then my plan is to do a little bit of try on uh, clipped into this so that you'll be able to see the fit of some of the pieces as well. But mostly we're gonna just talk about our finds and show you because so many goodies, so many gems. So just before we get into the haul, I do wanna mention, you all know Laura from other videos. We've talked about your jewelry shop and some of the amazing earrings that I have from you. Truth. The reason I know Laura is sort of through finding you on Instagram. Stalking me. <laughs> Stalking her down. A little internet romance. Yes. <laughs> I was telling Coles, I was like, I think that I kind of stalked you down. Yeah. I know this sounds really bad when I first say it. Like, I feel it's like fine. You should talk about this on camera. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, her account's awesome because you had the jewelry and the thrifting side. Yeah. And then from there, like, the communication blossomed. It's true. I know. Friendship bloomed. Yes. And you were like, do you want to go thrifting things. and get ramen? And I was like, 
<laughs> this is like my shopping soulmate here. <laughs> like we have been able to do a lot of thrifting together and Laura has her own uh, live sale business through Instagram called Yellow Brick Roads Thrifts. So Yellow Brick Roads Thrifts has secondhand goodies and now has my handmade jewelry too. So definitely make sure you go give her a follow on Instagram and worth knowing because some of the pieces that you see in our haul today are going to be available in upcoming live shows with Laura. Yes. Definitely go check it out. I'm going to link that in the description box. And now without further ado, let's get into the haul. Let's do it. So we're going to start with the blouses. Blouse number one. All right. We have this Ellen Tracy silk blouse. Love the pocket features. Look at that tag and the print. Can we talk about the print? It almost looks like a sleep shirt, but in the best. Yeah, way. like it's that pajama chic. <laughs> mm -hmm. And look at this print. It's giving me leopard print, but a little bit more abstract. And those buttons are to die for. Like the collar too. Yeah. There's so many cute features. A vintage uh, animal print like that. I just love that. Look at this print. It's giving me paisley, but not quite 100% silk again. And this is Regina Quarter. That print is everything. Literally it's so chef's kiss. All right. This gorgeous beauty is tagless, but look at this applique lace, I guess you would say. Yeah. And the pearl button details to die for. It's so sweet. Just like the perfect layering piece. We have a Jason Prescott. <gasps> Look at this collar. That's one of my favorites. It's, ugh. It's love, so. Love, love, love. Little bit of a puff sleeve. It's, I think, cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton. Even this hanger is kind of fun. A vintage dry cleaning hanger. <laughs> True. The little things. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. It's the little things. All right. I deem this the green puffy shirt. Seinfeld pants. <laughs> little bit sheer. Little bit puffy. Little bit of a bell sleeve. It's polyester and imported from France. So that's a fun one. That's a French ass blouse. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. I love this one. This one is just like deep warm tones another Ellen Tracy another 100% silk it has the pussy bow if you want it or you can make it a hair scarf you do yes. you <laughs> just to give you an idea glamorous <laughs> endless styling options look at this print amazing I love jewel that print. tones it gives me like a little bit of Versace just a little yeah. bit yeah just a little bit and then like these buttons here. Oh, so good. And it's 100% silk. Mm -hmm. That one looks like silk. This is just such a delicate piece. Yeah, it looks luxe to me. There's cutouts. There's like little pearl bead details. Absolutely amazing. It's got the shoulder pad. It's got the puff sleeve and the details on the sleeves of these tulips like barely peachy cream barely Peach, yes. peaches and cream <gasps> oh. yeah it's darling such a darling piece let's get this little lace detail a little bit more straightened darling i darling. feel like i've never seen anything quite like that with this dark color and the lace accented on the cuffs and the collar and i love this tag paisley red gorgeousness and it's got the built-in pussy bow here. These were all really well cared for, I could tell, because like it's There's stuffed the, with tissue. It literally has tissue cleaning. paper. Yeah, yeah my, one of mine did too. Another amazing paisley piece. Again with the dark, dark jewel tones with like a beige, I guess you could say. Yeah, and it's hard to see green on my camera, but there's a lot of gr like emerald greens through that, which would yes. be so fun to pull out with the styling. Yes, definitely. Like this is screaming, put gold with me. Yeah. All right, I think this was probably my favorite find. This is my personal <laughs> style. It is sheer with shoulder pads and it's just such a groovy, like darker print. I just can't get enough of this black 
and neutral tones with just a hint of teal just a hint yes. it's unreal it's gorgeous absolutely beautiful you could just do a gorgeous. fun styling with this too and um unbutton the back partially yeah and like kind of tuck it and then have an open back yes. v-neck situation ah, such a good score the possibilities <laughs> all right so we have this beautiful kind of like not really paint splatters but like paint drippings maybe like toothpick running through yeah, it looks like latte art, how they pull the toothpick through to like drag the design. It yes. looks like that up close. It's so cool. I feel like I've never seen that on a fabric before. And it's got the mock neck with the pretty pearl buttons. Paisley <gasps> neutral with the tie that comes with it. And it is not attached, so you can put it in your hair if you want to belt it. This weirdly feels like one of the most wearable pieces to me. Like, yeah. I, I don't know, that feels like my personal style or something because it looks so menswear yes, inspired. Yes, I get that. All right, we got another Silk Ellen Tracy. And again, it looks a little bit like a pajama shirt, but I'm just like into it, blend into the drapery pajama shirt. Yes, pajama chic. Oh, good old Liz. Liz Claiborne. Oh, is that a Liz? Oh, she's a Liz for oh, sure. Of and the details are just darling. Look at this mock neck that needs to be steamed into place, but it's just so cute. A little bit of a puff sleeve. I forgot about this one. Oh, oh it's so darling. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Look at this lace blouse piece. Again, with a little bit of a puff sleeve. Um, lots of mock necks going on in this collection. Just stunning. And like literally everyone that you pull out, I'm like, no, that's my favorite. Like, I know. Just all so good. <laughs> and the pearlescent buttons in the back. It's just, ugh. Yeah, so no tag on that one except it's a size eight. But we size wish eight. knew we wish we knew the maker. Vintage but eight. I'm gonna say it is Parisian silk. Like that's what it feels like to me. So it's definitely there you silk. Go. Yeah, there you go. It's gotta be. So I got, I actually didn't walk away with too many pieces. I, I really only shop for myself primarily. I'm not <laughs> gonna be putting things up in my shop, but uh, the first one, the only blouse I got is a Beautiful. mustard silk blouse with this navy tie that I think is so cute. I love that contrasting color. Buttons up all the way. Mm -hmm. It's a Nordstrom brand. Uh, still has the dry cleaning tags on it. Again, all this stuff was so well cared for. Okay, next we're gonna get into some lingerie. <laughs> All right, first up is this like muted peachy color slip dress. Just so darling. And I love the lacy cutouts. This is probably my favorite lingerie piece. It is full length, light yellow, probably could be worn as a dress. Yeah, that's what, is that why it's your it's, favorite? It's my favorite. It's the my material. absolute favorite. It's a thick, probably poly. Maybe it's lined in cotton. It's lined in cotton though. It's, it's so lined. soft and light. It's amazing. Yeah. So definitely not see-through with the exception of this beauty piece. Ugh. Yeah, it's that just, is incredible. It's darling. Like it's, that with just a heel and you're, you're done. Done, done. I feel like you could do like a pretty little bell cosplay with this. <gasps> yes, sexy bell for sexy Halloween. Bell. Just so oh. darling. And the V in the back is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Go ahead. <laughs> very bridal, if I do say so. <laughs> very, very bridal. So this is gorgeous. I love the meshy, like, lining of this Ugh. yeah it's over the lace which creates this amazing yes. ethereal gauzy effect yes. on the bust very so fairy yep mm -hmm. and down here another really darling a-lined kind of piece it's got some wrinkles it's sheer in the front the lace is so delicate and pretty so delicate all right <sighs> victoria's secret gold label oh my god and a lacy slit <laughs> is so good. Swoon. Like <laughs> the little applique detail. Just it's all about that like uh, sapphire blue. That's like yes. a deep sapphire blue. So beautiful. Yes. And the cut of this 
I imagine is like really flattering the way it's cut. Oh, with that really <laughs> <laughs> so with more Victoria's Secret gold label oh navy blue just like such a silky poly such a silky poly and it's got the fabric covered buttons beautiful <laughs> that same gorgeous. sapphire blue too I yes love that. gorgeous more medium Victoria's Secret gold label Ooh, that's so cute and just just a little little set oh my gosh again. Ooh. Love this little set moment. <gasps> it's a set. Yeah. The braided like tie. <laughs> I love. Just love. And it's Ralph Montanero. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, we have a Miss Dior piece. Dior. <laughs> Vintage yes. Dior. Oh Vintage my gosh. Dior. And it is so darling. I have chills right now. <laughs> like and I've seen I have seen this one previously. It's so gorgeous with this. Ugh. The deep, the embroidery the detail, and all of the beautiful pastel tones, like yes, and the lacy straps, everything. And then there's this beautiful bow in the back that we were kind of trying to figure out how to play with style, if it makes sense to like cinch your waist and tie it in the back and not bring it to the it's front. It's too high to wrap around the front, and you would yeah. cover the embroidery. So I think you just tie in the back, make a little bow. Mm -hmm. Ugh, just so darling. So darling. And again, look at this delicate embroidery. So based on the union tag, this was made or produced between 1964 and 1974. How cool, right? This dress I bought for myself because I'm a coffee lover. And look at these coffee beans. Yes. Oh, they oh, are coffee beans. They're coffee beans. This is a very you dress. This is it's a me dress. It's your style. And it's a medium. And I'm not a medium. So Didn't sad work face. Out. Didn't work out. Absolutely gorgeous. Find it a good home. Find it a good home. I love the cutout and smocking in the back. Yeah. So pretty. All right. We have a 100% silk beaded vest like dream vest <laughs> it is wooden buttons with pearl beads on it so much love there's not a yeah. bead out of place it's embroidered it's perfection okay now we're getting to some other stuff that i found Switch it up. this one is probably my favorite find even though it looks extremely basic and it is but it is armani and it's no a baby. silk blend armani sweater this like a beautiful teal color. It's gorgeous. It fits me very nicely, I oh. think. And I love the um, like kind of the thin cable knit or rib knit mm -hmm. situation that's going on. Like nice texture, so soft and comfortable. I'm in love with this. Uh, so I picked up a turtleneck knit, um, wearing tons of turtlenecks. I loved this color. It's like a dark olive, if you can't tell, but in up close, there's a lot of other kind of colors that run through the knit. And it's an Ellen Tracy piece. Just high quality basic. I snatched it up for a good steal. It's beautiful. We have this beauty that I just could not pass up. It's 80% silk, 20% cotton from Nordstrom. I got another basic. You saw all of the turtlenecks, like the huge turtleneck selection in there. And again, it's something I'm wearing a ton of. So I really thought I could use a nice brown color. It's like a medium kind of caramel brown. It's really versatile. So this was a good snag for 100% cotton brown turtleneck. I love that one. Oh, this was like a last minute find for me and I'm Ooh. so happy that I picked it up. I loved how this one fit on me. It's a nice like long silhouette. It's 100% silk blazer. Again, I grabbed this mustard color, like the tones in my haul are like very, kind of brown and neutral, but yeah. this will work for me in a lot of levels. And it just is another nice quality luxe piece. Uh -huh. And then just back on my BS as usual with a vintage sweatshirt. <laughs> I couldn't resist this one. It's a cute little San Francisco stripey quarter zip. It has a couple little spots on it. So they gave it to me for a song. So I was like, okay, I'll throw it in. I have not tried to clean this one yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to get it most of it out if not all of it and it will be worth it to me because it's such a cutie another idea we just had is like cropping this just cut off the <laughs> the stain this is the bottom yeah. yeah but it would look so cute with this style because it already has the black stripe 
Okay, we're getting into a few accessories now. Amazing hot pink houndstooth ah. jewel tones, but kind of more vibrant than jewel tones. Square scarf. Love, love, love. That's so cool. This one gives me Versace. Yes, definitely. Versace, Versace. This is a pretty big piece. It was this dainty floral. What I would use as a hair scarf. Yeah, this is the perfect style to have a hair scarf because of the long, thin cut. Yes, exactly. It feels like silk to me. I would say so. And yeah. echoes the brand. Perfect for spring. Mm -hmm. So I got those two <laughs> different suede vintage designer bags. These are so gorgeous. I literally just could not decide between them. So, so just got both. I just got both. Yeah. So Long this made. one is Liberty House. I was not able to find anything like this online. I believe that. So it could be not a rare a piece. And this one is Oleg Cassini. It has this little clasp. Love, love. So I felt like I kind of splurged on those two pieces and that's another reason why I didn't end up buying a lot of the other stuff even though I really wanted and loved everything. Yeah. Last thing. Last thing, I didn't even realize that I wore it. Yeah, good thing you wore it. <laughs> good thing I wore it um, is this amazing set. So we have this necklace here, link gold chain, and this bracelet that I added to my personal collection. Okay, that's everything for our haul. Everything. Well, thank you for thrifting with us at this estate sale. Thank you to my friend Laura from Yellow Brick Road Thrifts. Definitely check out her Instagram linked below. And thanks for having me. Definitely feel free to comment what you're hoping to snag in the future. Comment your favorite thing that we found. Hope you enjoyed it and I will be back next week with a new video. Bye. Change, this is gonna be nice. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is fun. It feels like a talk show now. <laughs> wow, so, speak to me. <laughs> Laura, tell me about your latest project. Yes, welcome. Good morning, America. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. dark. laughs> doesn't it look dark and a little contrasty to you or no yeah but i like contrast like i'm not afraid of contrast oh yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. i'm just wearing dark clothes <laughs> that's the problem the whole time <laughs> so we can do here we go sometimes i'll do that for a visual cue on the sound <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't just getting excited there. <laughs> See, well, that's why our talk show will be a success. <laughs> it's so good. Now it's The View. Wait, is that what you said earlier? Yeah, okay. that it's The View. Like Kelly Clarkson? I feel like I'm Kelly Clarkson. Is she on that? I didn't even know. Doesn't she have her own show? Her own talk show? Ah. Uh, I'm definitely not Oprah. I'm, I know. <laughs> no one can live up to that. Yeah, we're not rich enough. <laughs> I might be Dr. Phil. You could be like Dr. Phil. I might be. Yeah, but cuter. He's pretty cute in his own <laughs> Get in my DMs. Hair flip. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> just give me a camera and I just kind of need to move in front of it. <laughs> uh, let me thank you. <laughs> okay. Allow me to thank you. <laughs> Allow me you to think thank you're, you. You think you're having an awkward time. It's all me. It's all... <laughs> radiating just, off of me because I never have to do this with another person so I'm like <laughs> uh, yes okay we're backing up to maybe the last one never mind I'll know for editing yeah good luck <laughs> <laughs> exquisite exquisite this is exquisite <laughs> did you just make that up I love that <laughs> honestly it just comes out <laughs> oh thanks. I was like yeah I saw oh right yeah. <laughs> We're running out of fire, y'all. <laughs> Let's see. Cut. <laughs> I know. I have so much B-roll of me struggling with these tags. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing it and not me. It's everything. It's like, feels like when you are dealing with like a wet bathing suit. <laughs> you're just like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm about to read y'all a bedtime story. Because of the setup? Because of yeah. the armchair? Yeah, I'm just like, 
Let you me need flip to, this page. You need like a pipe, but it's like bu blows bubbles yes. instead. I'm ready. Like, Masterpiece theater. 